Let's talk about functions and relations. Let's start with relations. A relation is a way to map or pair an input with an output. Just any way that you give me an input and I have a rule to give you an output, that's a relation. So y is equal to x plus 3. Basically, you give me an input and I'll add 3 and I'll give you the output, which is y. If you give me a graph and you give me the uh, input of 0, I can find the output by just going upward across the line. Or if you give me something like this, b is equal to a plus or minus 2. So I have either go up 2 or down 2. So if your input is 10, my output is going to be either 12 or uh, 8. And if I have a mapping diagram like this, give me like this. There's a relation that if I give you an input of 3, the output could be 5 or it could be 7. Or an input of 5, could, the output could be 9. A function is a special kind of relation. This is the one that we're going to be interested in. It's a relation in which there is only one output for every input. So there's no choice of outputs. So see here, I have two outputs for one input. I said if the input is 10, I could have 10, uh, 12 or 8. So that means this is still a relation, but it's not a function. Or here, I have a 3, that I have a 5 and a 7 for an output, but that's a choice, so that's not a function. This one, I can only get one answer, right? If I say x is equal to 10, well, 10 plus 3, is 13. There's only one output. So that is actually a relation. This one, as you can see, every input has only one output. Now notice that this output gets repeated twice. This input and that input gave me the same one. That's okay. As long as the input has only one choice of an output, we're good. That's a, real, that's a function. There's nothing wrong with this ones. They're just relations that are not functions. So one imp for every input, there's only one output. Straight line like this, well, I can see that I can go up and find uh, that there's only going to be one output. Actually, that's going to be called a vertical line test. If I can draw a vertical line and I can only cross the function once on a graph, that means that it is a function. I'm going to call that the vertical line test. Write that one there. And something like this, y is equal to 3x squared plus 2. Well, can you figure that one out? You could probably picture it if you can graph this and then tell if it's a function or not. Or another way to figure out if, if for one input there's only one choice for output. Let's look at how we can um, graph the, the information or how we can present the information. Because on in this section you're going to see different things. I put in four different forms the same kind of information. So you don't care if I give you this, 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 or this. Watch. This is the table of values and I say when x is minus 1, y is 0. When x is 0, y is 5, and when x is 3, y is 1. In the same way, I could have used an input and output diagram like this one, and say minus 1 gives me 0, 0 gives me 5, 3 gives me 1. Just like this, guys. Notice that I, I am ordering these numbers in, in order of, um, or in order, 0, 1, 5. A graph, well, I'll put the point. What is that point? That point is minus 1 and 0. Minus 1 and 0. That point is 0, and 5, 0 and 5. And this point is 3 and 1, 3 and 1. So it's given the same information. And lastly, I can set, uh, I can write it as points, as a set of points. So I got squiggly brackets, and then you remember that to put a point, you need to use brackets and a comma in the middle for the x and the y, or the input and the output. And that's minus 1, 0, 0, and 5, and 3, 1. The only one I didn't use here is the equation because there's not an equation for this but I know that I can give you an equation and then you can turn it into a table of values or a mapping diagram or uh, a graph and going from an equation to a graph would be helpful for us to use the vertical line test. So let's look at some examples and we'll see if we can tell if they are functions or not. So this is a graph. I can use my vertical line test. So the vertical line test means if I put a line going right through I should only cut my function once. And you can see that right here, the vertical line test fails because I get one, two, and three possible options. So this is not a function. That is not a function. It's just a relation. I can still map input with output, but not for one input. There's more than one output, therefore not a function. Um, what about this one? Zero and one, two and five, and four and five. Well, the fives are repeating, however, I only have, if they give me zero, the only choice I can give you for an output is one. If they give me two, the only choice I can give you for an output is five. 
and if I give you 4, the only choice I can give you for an output is 5 again. Therefore, this is a function. What about for this one? Well, this is a graph and I can do the vertical line test. The open dot means that the number does not actually reach. It gets very, very close. So this is going to go very, very close to 0, but not actually reach. So it's like 0 0.0000001 or even smaller. The solid dot means that it actually does reach it. So if I use a vertical line test here, I can see that at this point, that these two line up, I'm not using this point, but I am using this point. So I'm only using one point for output, so that's okay. And the same happens over here. So for every input, there's only one output, and that means this is a function. And lastly, this mapping diagram, um, I have one goes to two, two goes to two, three goes to two, is this a function? Well, yes, it is a function because for every input, there's only one choice of outputs. This would actually look like, let me see if I can write this. This would actually, if I graphed it, means one, two, and three give me points like this, which would mean it's almost like a horizontal line. And of course, the horizontal line will pass the vertical line test.